On November 5th, 2023, Schlatt posted a video asking people to submit business pitches for him to react to on stream. When I saw this, I DM'd my friend Liam and I said, hey, you should code a bot or something for this. But then he replied and said that he did not have the time. Of course, I personally had no idea what to do, and to be honest, I didn't really care about making something for this for multiple reasons. First, I had already submitted something for a presentation stream a while back, and I didn't really care about being on stream again. Secondly, Thanksgiving was coming up and I was busy with school, and perfectly content not to add another project to my plate. Finally, I knew that if I were to make something for the stream, I wanted it to be different from the other submissions. I knew that a lot of the submissions were going to follow the same format, it was going to start out with someone calling Schlatt by the wrong name, like Schlitt or something, and it was going to build up to a Weezer meme going like, no, 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 and then, you know, it would lead up to this like shock humor moment. And that's not to say that we didn't do some of those classic Schlatt reaction channel bits in our video, but I wanted the centerpiece of our submission to be a, a tangible thing for chat. Tangible in an online sense, right? I want it to be something chat could interact with as opposed to just having the centerpiece of our video be a joke. And that's when I had the idea. I'm just kidding. No, I didn't. Um, here's a life tip. If you're ever struggling to come up with an idea, just uh, steal someone else's. Here's how it all went down. I was scrolling through YouTube and I had been using this extension called Mr. Beastify for months now because I find it hilarious. And basically in that extension, it adds Mr. Beast to every thumbnail. So it makes every thumbnail a Mr. Beast thumbnail. And I thought to myself, wait a minute, I could just do this, but with something Schlatt related. I mean, maybe not with Schlatt himself, because I don't think people would want to see someone who commit heinous crimes back in 1999 on their YouTube homepage, but uh, Jamble the Cat could work, because I mean, who doesn't love a cute cat? So I went back to my friend Liam and I got him on board with this idea and we decided to split up the task. I would handle all the Jambo images and he would handle all the coding. Things were pretty simple on my end. It wasn't a walk in the park, but it was more of a repetitive and time consuming task. It involved me finding a Jambo image, removing the background, changing the aspect ratio, putting Jambo in a funny position, dumping the image in my folder and doing that over and over again. This is also a good time to mention that some of you may have noticed that not every cat in the extension is Jambo. There is one image, specifically this one, that's a little easter egg because that's my boyfriend's cat and I don't think anyone's noticed that that's not burnt soup. So uh, yeah, if you see this image in the extension, you have been blessed by the secret cat easter egg. Moving on, I had no idea what was happening on Liam's end because the only thing I know about coding is the introduction to Python class I took years ago. So in order to find out what happened on his end, let's call him up and we can also discuss all the Easter eggs hidden in the submission video. So yeah, let's do that. So Liam, when I presented you with this idea, um, you know, what was, what was the process? Cause you had, you hadn't coded in JavaScript before, right? Yeah, it's uh, definitely an interesting language, um, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's some cursed parts about it. Yeah. Like how three equal signs <laughs> is the equal check. Um, yeah, so obviously our extension takes heavy inspiration from the Mr. Beastify extension. So does that reflect in the code? <laughs> Uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it did take some inspiration in the code in a little bit, but most of I coded myself. What was that like, learning um JavaScript? Did you have to like watch a lot of tutorials or? Yeah, I just found some websites that showed like you. basic um, syntax and stuff. How long did it take for you to code the the thing? Would you say? Um, it took me a few days, but like I wasn't working all the time. Yeah. So that stuff I had to do, but I mean, it didn't take too many hours to do. Putting it on the Chrome Web Store too. What was that like? Did you did you end up having to pay the five dollar thing? Uh, yeah. I see. Wow, those but green. It was more than bad. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> 
Hey, Slack. Today hey. I want to talk to you about something that you'll find really relatable. Okay. And that you is... You pronounce his name correctly. Yeah, I do pronounce his name correctly. Not Schlit, not Schlug. Oh, all right. I was sitting right here a couple weeks ago watching... Oh, he's got my old hoodie. That. Right there. He yep, noticed and it. And he recognized it. The hoodie. Genuinely a great hoodie, by the way. Look at this thumbnail. Okay. And look at this one. Mm. One is... <laughs> I thought it would be funny. <laughs> I'm, <sorry. clears throat> I'm dying. I thought it would be funny if I did the the building one 100 wells in Africa one. I don't know why. Because huh. I guess it, it kind of implies that that this video is better than building wells in Africa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jambo is better than building wells in Africa. You know, you mm. hear it here. Clearly better than the other because okay. one has Jambo in it. Jambo. Aww. So what if we were able to put Jambo in every single thumbnail? The thing is, though, I have That's no one idea of the images. that off. So that is one I of the images. So I decided to reach out to my friend who does. Hey, uh... Okay. This is the Easter egg that no one has noticed. Or at least I haven't seen anyone notice this one. Yeah, me neither. The Weezer poster! It's right there! I don't think anyone in chat noticed. Or if I did, I must have yeah. missed it. But it's the we it's the we Weezer! Oh no 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 you know I did. Yeah, you it's had not to even... tilt your camera so it'd be in frame, right? I did have to tilt my camera so it would be in frame. It's not even my poster, it's my roommate. <laughs> and he doesn't even listen to Weezer. Uh wait, really? No, he just thought it would be funny to put up. Um Huh. Also, this is that's not really an Easter egg because you can't notice it, but that is the Thunderballs merch. Thunderballs slap merch. Here's a funny thing I want to point out. I had to do this Discord thing. Like I had to do this Discord screen over here because my camera I, I like don't stopped know. recording for some reason. Wait, really? Yeah, and that's why it switches to this Discord screen. You can notice oh, like I start yeah. dropping frames. It's really funny. What, what do you mean you don't know how to code in JavaScript? <laughs> Anyways, after working non-stop. Here's another joke uh, that goes by really fast. Uh, the chat GPT yeah. joke. We we imply that you use chat GPT to <laughs> laugh. Yeah, I didn't actually do, do it though. Are they making out. a- I know, you code, you code it. You actually code it. No chat GPT. Fucking Jambo extension? Our product. It's time for Mr. Okay, I, I had to put the Mr. Beastify extension on here because it would have felt really scummy. If we made yeah. this whole video <laughs> without acknowledging the thing we took heavy inspiration from. And I believe this extension takes heavy inspiration from a YouTube channel called Unnecessary Inventions. Mm, so, it does, yeah. You know, it's a whole train of people. <laughs> so it would have felt yeah. really scummy to not acknowledge that. <laughs> The best browser extension ever no made. Fucking Wait, way! It is the best thing. It is the best. Um, again, the Discord screen. I, oh yeah, cause the camera. Cause the camera. Here's an even crazier part. My voice sounds a little off here. This extension might uh might be a bad idea. Coming up. Uh, -oh. uh, what do you mean? This line. Yeah. Um, I record this after we recorded this. Because uh, not okay. only did my camera stop recording, my mic stopped recording. <laughs> so this was recorded in post. So that's why that's why it sounds a little off. Okay, this is my favorite Easter egg, which no one oh, noticed because it goes by thumbnail. so fast. I'm actually some gonna... people did though in the short. Yeah, in the YouTube short, but not the whole thing. It goes by so fast, and I don't think anyone's that has actually paused this. Also, his face cam covers it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But you can see, you can see the end of it. You, like, if pe people, people know what this is. This is the, the full Discord DM scene without the Schlatt face cam. Uh, how about this? You, you read your lines, I'll read my lines. Okay. What happened? I just hit a dog going 70 miles per hour on my truck. Such a shitty Thanksgiving week right now. It ran up on the highway. Insane. Yes, it died. And... I don't know how to read that next line. <laughs> <laughs> Badoof. Uh, mind blowing. I got a free road sign though. Lol. You took it. Yeah, I hit it after I hit the dog. But yeah, I took it. It's free. It was just laying there. You didn't take the dog as well, did you? What do you mean? Of course I took it. That's like four thousand calories right there. <laughs> This is my favorite bit, and it's unfortunate that it got covered up. <laughs> it's an actual fucking Chrome extension. 
called. He, I love how it recommends you to Mr. Piece of Fly on the right too. Oh yeah, <laughs> Jambo Fly. It's got five ratings. People are already using it. The five ratings, half of it, half of it is us. Like, that's me. Yeah. I'm the one who says it's free. Cammy wrote a review. Cammy's our friend. And I'm glad her review got in because it's pretty funny. I have no... This probably scrapes all of your data. This... Uh, all right, Liam. Liam, does this extension scrape your data? No, but Google probably does. <laughs> Hear me out, though. Hear me out. This was supposed to be Shark Tank business pitches, right? Keyword there, business. Yeah. And it's unfortunate that we're not scraping the data because <laughs> business, right? We could be making money selling the data to China. Mm, but true. You know, apparently that's <laughs> illegal. <laughs> yeah, the developers disclose <laughs> that it will not collect or yeah, use you your disclose data. it. Sure. You you disclose yeah. that it doesn't collect user data, so. And it's they do safe. actually check as well. Yeah. So, what is the future of Jambify? Well, at the time of recording this, we are currently working on a Jambify update. Yes, more images and more Easter eggs are coming. We've also been getting a lot of requests for Jambify on Firefox. We looked into it, we were going to do it, and then I found out that someone already did that for us. Yep, it's... It's on Firefox. It's our extension, which was uploaded by someone named Game Wrecker. So yeah, Firefox users, you can use Jamify. Just keep in mind that we're not involved with the Firefox version. So if you have any questions or concerns, uh, you can ask Game Wrecker, but not not us. Okay. We've also been getting a lot of requests for different features to be added to the extension, and we'll try to look into that. But I don't know. Just keep in mind that. This extension was never meant to be perfect. It was a side project we worked on for a couple of weeks, and it was meant to be a funny haha thing for the stream. I did not expect it to get as big as it has gotten. I like it's insane. We're currently at 7,000 users right now, I think. I've been seeing posts about it on Reddit, YouTube, Twitter, or X if you're a nerd. But yeah, it's just been awesome to see that people are enjoying our project. So I guess if there's interest for Jamify to be more of a permanent thing that we keep working on and keep trying to improve, then I think Liam and I would be down for that. That being said, I don't want to milk this as much as I already am. I mean, maybe I'll post a YouTube short about this or something because that seems to get views. So yeah, if you're a Schlatt fan and you're, you're here watching this, uh, hey, um, if you want to stick around and watch some occasional dumb videos that I post, feel free to. If not, that's okay. No hard feelings, but you know, you're welcome here, unless you're stupid. Anyways, thanks for hanging out, uh, and yeah.